Well, the beauty of the reproductive justice framework is that it ends the isolation of abortion from other social justice issues. Mm -hmm. And so it allows us to have the conversation about abortion at the same time we're talking about white supremacy or, or economic injustice or welfare rights or HIV AIDS or housing or police brutality, all the other things that go on in our community that are also human rights violations because it is a human rights based framework. And so I think that is our best ally right now, that mm -hmm. we have an intersectional inclusive framework that allows us to have conversations with people who are uncomfortable maybe only focusing on abortion. Because, you know, reproductive justice is the right to have a child and not have a child, and to parent our kids as we talk about it. Mm -hmm. And so these are things every community cares about. These mm -hmm. are things that, uh, you know, environmental injustices and all those kind of things that you could wrap into the reproductive justice framework.